Prima Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. The South Africa National Space Agency has a new Chief Executive Officer, Keith Campbell reports. The new CEO of the South African National Space Agency, or SANSA, is Dr. Val Munsami. He tells us about the agency's plans and programs for this coming year. So in terms of the year going forward, uh, first of all, just to close off the financial year, in terms of the uh, current uh, annual performance plan that we have to deliver on, which ends on the 31st of March, and then to take a forward-looking view in terms of the next financial year, which is which starts on the 1st of April. But uh, even going into the new financial year, we have to pause and look at our strategic mandate and whether we are delivering on that mandate. So what we are planning in February is a strategic planning session that will look at uh, the mandate of Senza and then map in terms of what we are currently doing, what we should be doing, and then um, extract a growth strategy for Senza in terms of what we are not currently doing and growing what we are currently doing. So that's the priority that we're going to set ourselves for 2017. Dr. Munsami explains Sansa's mandate. The mandate is to obviously deliver to the government departments in terms of products and services that they would need for many of the policy making decisions that they take. That they take. For example, in water, forestry, agriculture and so on. So our prime mandate is to deliver the satellite uh, data um, and also to develop some of the products and services. Also looking at the archiving, the storage and the processing of that data. And then currently we also have a satellite build program internally in terms of building South Africa's next satellite. And that will obviously give us added satellite imagery that we provide to government departments. And then we also have uh, space operations which is looking at uh, telemetry tracking and command which is a revenue-generating stream in that they provide these services to international agencies. But we also have to be inward-looking in terms of what they are delivering in terms of the national mandate. Then there's Sensor Space Sciences, um, looking at it from a sort of space physics or to solar terrestrial physics, but also looking at the applications, products and services. So there's a lot in terms of magnetic products and services that are used in the defense sector and so on. So there's quite a broad stream of uh, activities within SENSA that we have to look at very closely. The future trajectory of SENSA, because we are on the African continent, is to look at what our role is with regards to the rest of the continent. There are moves afoot to look at an African space program. And the intention there is to see how existing national space programs will contribute to the broader African agenda. So we look at the Agenda 2063 and um, SENSA is optimally positioned from a space science perspective to help deliver on many of the socio-economic challenges in Africa. So we will explore those opportunities as well, working with other African countries and the African Union. Other news making headlines this week, SAPI celebrates 80 years on the JSC and Camden Power Station to receive last of 164 burners. Pulp and paper producer SAPI recently celebrated its 80th year as a JSC listed company, as well as the fact that it was once again part of the boss's top 40 index. The last time SAPI was, was on the top 40 was, was back in 2009, and um, yeah, SAPI's in a very different place to where, where we were back in, in, in 2009, and, and it, it really has been a, a remarkable turnaround. Um, how we've been able to change the fortunes of the business. Um, and it's primarily due to the, the hard work, the dedication, the tenacity of the people in our business. Engineering company, Lahani Engineering, will deliver the last of the 164 custom-made burners to state-owned power utility ESCOM's Camden Power Station in Mpumalanga in the second half of this year. These burners are the first burners which are designed in South Africa and uh, ESCOM has the original equipment manufacturing rights to it. So I think despite that uh, it allows them to go forward 
in uh, equipping other stations with this new design. And the unique design feature of these burners are that they are low NOx, so they are environmentally friendly and that allows us to comply with environmental legislation going forward. And ESCOM can manipulate this design as a need fit and develop it and uh, improve on it. So this is the first of that uh, design burners which we will implement and fabricate in South Africa. That's Cremo Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.